Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something super important, money. Whether you're just starting out or you're looking to up your financial game or covering the basics, breaking down the common money topics you should know. So grab a coffee, get comfy, and let's talk money. So let's start with something simple but crucial, budgeting. Um, this is all about knowing where your money goes each month. Think of your budget as a map. Without it, you'll probably get lost financially. So, whether you're using apps like Met or YNAB or just a good old spreadsheet, make sure you know how much money you earn, how much you can spend, and where you can save. So, a simple rule is the 50 30 20 rule it works great so you spend 50 percent on your needs 30 percent on 30 percent on wants and 20 percent on saving or paying off debt um now we've covered budgeting but let's talk about emergency funds we all know that life happens unexpected car repairs medical bills or even losing a job an emergency fund is your safety net and experts recommend having three to six months of living expenses saved up. Sounds like a lot, but start small. Even putting away $500 can make a big difference when things go wrong. Um, and let's face it, debt is a reality for many people. Whether it's student loans, credit card debt, or car payments, it's important to have a plan. There are two popular ways to tackle debt, the snowball method and the avalanche method. With the snowball method, you focus on paying off your smallest debts first to build momentum. With the avalanche method, you tackle debts with the highest interest rates first, which can save you a lot of money in the, wrong, in the long run. So with the avalanche method, you are going to be saving interest on all those debts that you're paying off. Um, snowball method to me personally works the best for me because it's the small psychological wins. So if I have a debt that's a hundred, one that's three hundred, one that's five hundred. If I pay off that one that's a hundred, that's really just going to motivate me to pay off that one that's three hundred and that other one that's you know that's five hundred. And it kind of you kind of get into a momentum kind of thing when it comes to paying off the debt, and it it really motivates you. Um, but once you got a handle on budgeting, saving, and debt, it's time to talk about growing your wealth, which is investing. Um, you don't need to be Warren Buffett to get started. In fact, the earlier you invest, the more time your money has to grow. You start small with index funds like the S&P 500 or even fract fractional shares. The key is consistency. And remember, investing is a long game. Don't be scared by the short-term short fluctuations. So, um, so when it comes to the investing, the S&P 500 is Standard & Poor's 500. They're the 500 largest companies within the United States. So you know that these companies are going to be huge companies like Apple, Amazon, Walmart, things like that. You know, companies that you know are really going to do well and aren't going to lose. And sometimes they will, like the indexes will go down, but, um, essentially over the lifetimes of most uh you know graphs when you look at s p 500 it it does go up at least 10 percent consistently you know that's the average and so you'll see these huge fluctuations like this year i think it's like 20 something plus percent up um, but then i've seen some years where it's down 19 percent some years it's up five percent then it's down nine percent then it's up 15 percent you know but overall the average is is essentially up um, so everybody's going to need to retire one day, hopefully, <laughs> but the earlier you start planning, the better off you'll, you'll be. And that's where things like 401ks, IRAs, and Roth IRAs come into play. If your employer offers a 401k match, take advantage of that because it's free money. And even if, even if they don't try to set aside 10 to 15% of your income for retirement, trust me, like your future self will save you. Um, one of the most, uh, one of the most incredible things anybody ever told me about finance was, is that, um, 
you're not always going to make as much money as you make when you're young. So like when your body's young, when your mind's young, um, you're going to be at your highest earning capacity because you're going to be the best version of yourself. Now, over time, you'll get promotions and, and raises and different stuff like that. But don't always assume that you're always going to make the same amount of money that you're making now. Um, and then treat that money as if it's just, oh, it's no big deal. I'll get paid again in two weeks. Well, you don't actually really know um, if you're actually really going to, uh, you know, make that two weeks, uh, you know, pay, you know, to get that, to get that, um, to get that paycheck because bad things could happen. You just never know. Um, and so that's something to, to take into consideration when you're using your investing um, is to definitely respect your money, have a real nice, healthy respect for money and just, you know, realize like it's not always going to be there. Sometimes, you know, you, you could get fired, you could get injured, um, you could, you know, life happens, you know, so so really respect your money when it comes to investing it, because when you respect your money and you take care of your money, your money will take care of you. Um, so that's pretty much it there you have it um some of the most common money topics we all should be thinking about now remember it's not about being perfect it's about consistent and making small consistency and making small uh, smarter decisions if you found this helpful don't forget to like subscribe and comment below with any questions you have on topics that you'd like me to cover in the future thanks for watching and i'll see you next time